Somewhere around the last quarter of 2022, Roblox released one of the most useless updates to Roblox Studio. What was this update you might be wondering? Well, I'll just tell you right off the bat, it's animation blending. Yeah, I don't know what they were expecting with this one, but honestly, considering how Roblox is in general with its updates, I mean, it's not really that surprising now that I'm thinking about it. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the I'm not even gonna comment on that. <laughs> Anyways, back to animation blending, if you're an advanced developer, you might already know about this, but if you're a starter dev, then you better pay attention because this might save you a headache. We'll also be taking a look at some weird Roblox quote-unquote animation problems. I mean, I recently had some problems in my Star Wars games because of this, and I lost, like, two or three weeks worth of progress of animations, just because I didn't know about this. So, I just want to give you guys a heads up to any of you that are making a game right now. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Alright, so apparently Roblox has always had a big issue with animations to begin with. For example, if you change a player's idle animation or running animation through a script, the idle won't really update until you move or stop moving depending on which animation it is. And this has to do with the animate script every character has inside them. I don't really know why they made it like this, but apparently it's a pain to fix this since most games don't even bother fixing that and they just rather adapt their game to it. Now in case you don't see this as a problem, you might have having two running animations, a normal running animation and an axe running animation. If you're running, let's say you don't have your axe out while running, but for some reason, after a while of running you take your axe out and you make a script to update the running animation to the animation of the running while having the axe in your hand you'd expect the running animation to start playing when you told it to update right well guess what your animation won't even update until you stopped running bro as if it's the point of changing the animation while running <laughs> Now, in case you're wondering how some games actually manage to achieve this effect, like the game I'm showing on screen, which is The Woken by the way. So what people have to do is, instead of changing the animation in the animate script, they directly play an animation track on top of the existing universal running or walking animation. This is the only way to achieve this effect without really affecting gameplay. Even though it has limited potential and some slight problems, that most people would just overlook because I mean it's Roblox and people are willing to overlook some minor stuff as long as the overall gameplay is okay which is one of Roblox's advantages I guess so a very interesting problem that this method causes is that when walking if the animation you play on top of it has its torso rotated you will walk with your torso rotated causing your legs to move in a different direction than the direction the character is moving like I'm showing on screen right now which would be pretty funny to see in real life or any other game like this thing only flies on roblox if any other game did this people will go like what the f so yeah that pretty much covers problem one now onto the real or the biggest problem of the two of them problem number two animation blending so as the name of this useless feature reveals this refers to animations playing at the same time which for some reason seemed like a good idea to roblox why did you add this bruv are you mental i really can't think of a single example where animation blending would be useful like can you picture someone saying i actually want two animations to play at the same time on all body parts like of course not if your animations are clipping or playing at the same time then there's a good chance it's because of this i'd suggest to just disable it for every game you make wait right <laughs> now that i recall there's not even an easy way to disable this sh but i'm gonna show you how to disable this real quick okay so what you want to do if you want to disable this useless garbage is go to workspace scroll down in properties until you find the add attribute button click on it set the name of the attribute to erby x legacy animation blending change the type from string to boolean after you've done this make sure the new attribute is checked to make sure it's true if you're still having trouble after this then make sure streaming enabled is checked and also make sure touches uses collision groups is disabled and that should pretty much solve the issue just keep a heads up of what i told you if you're planning to make a game that uses a lot of animations for example mmorpgs use this a lot any combat game is most likely going to use it just keep a heads up and if you're going to make running animations working animations idols and all the kind of stuff you want to make him how i told you to make him in this video all right so that's all i got for today bro keep leveling up be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace